today we'll be working with something in chemistry we like to call stoichiometry, but more specifically we'll be working with combustion stoichiometry. So first we'll start off with our word problem, which goes, in the combustion of ethane, C2H6, a sample of 11.2 grams of carbon dioxide gas is captured. What mass of water would also be produced? So before we start writing our equation, we need to first note what we're given, ethane and CO2, and what we get out, which would be water, H2O. Since we've gotten all the information we need from this word problem, we can now write our unbalanced equation, which goes as C2, H6, plus O2, yields CO2 plus H2O. So this is the equation we can draw from this word problem, but since it is unbalanced, we now need to balance it. We are given our unbalanced equation, we are able to start balancing the equation. So. First, we would have to balance our hydrogen atoms. So, to do that, we would balance it out with a 6 to make 12 atoms and So, to balance the hydrogen atoms, you would have to have six hydrogen atoms so you could match two the two molecules of C2H6 to make 12 hydrogen atoms to match the 12 hydrogen atoms on both sides. The two here would affect carbon so to match the carbon atoms on the left side you would have to match it with the four to make four atoms of carbon that would make six oxygen or I mean eight oxygen atoms including another six oxygen here. So 8 plus 6 equals 14. And to make 14 atoms to match here would be 7. So therefore, you would ultimately have two C2H6 plus 7O2 yields 4CO2 plus 6H2O. And that's it. And the next step is to do the stoichiometry to solve the original problem. So, now that we have the balanced equation, we can solve the problem. The problem says that there are 11.2 grams of CO2 produced, and that we need to find how many grams of water are also produced in the reaction. This is going to be a grams to grams stoichiometry problem. So we're going to start with the 11.2 grams of carbon dioxide on this side. Then we're going to multiply it by 
one mole of carbon dioxide over the GFM of carbon dioxide, which is 43.99 grams per mole. And then we're going to multiply that by the mole ratio, which has the moles of want on top and the moles of given on the bottom. So because we have six moles of water that are produced in the reaction, that's going to be our moles wanted value. And we have four moles of carbon dioxide produced, that's going to be our moles given value. Then, in order to convert this back to grams, we're going to multiply by the GFM of water, which is our wanted, which is 18.01 grams, over one mole of water. This multiplied together will give us the result, which will be the grams of water that are also produced in the reaction. When we multiply all these numbers together, what we get is a result around 6.8749 grams. But since we were given 11.2 grams as the starting figure, and that has three significant digits, this will be rounded to 6.87 grams of water also produced in this combustion reaction. So in the combustion of ethane, if 11.2 grams of carbon dioxide are produced, we now know that 6.87 grams of water will also be produced.